Hey guys, Mike Taylor, broker owner, Red Door Property Management. Today, I wanna to talk about short-term rentals and specifically what kind of recurring costs you can expect as the owner of a short-term rental. Um, I'm not talking about regular maintenance items. Those things are going to happen uh, to any home. Uh, I'm talking about things that are specific to a short-term rental. So you're trying to kind of get your budget going for uh, a new short-term rental. Um, what can you expect on a weekly, monthly, uh, biannual basis? So uh, by far the biggest expense that you're going to have is cleaning fees. So I think that goes without saying. That's going to be every guest you're going to have uh, a cleaning fee. Now you are able to charge the guest a cleaning fee. So a little bit of a pass through. Um, sometimes you can make a little bit of profit on that, but uh, honestly, for the most part, cleaners are um, relatively expensive and you want to pay them, pay a, a good cleaner well so that they uh, a, do a good job for you and uh, put you at the top of their list. So cleaning is an expense, kind of, it's a pass-through, it's a pass-through uh, expense though. Uh, after that, probably the biggest, uh, the, biz the biggest expense that you're going to experience as a uh, Airbnb or a short-term rental owner is utilities. So if you have a long-term rental, um, uh, nine times out of 10, the tenant in the home takes care of the utilities. So obviously that's not realistic with a short-term rental. So uh, you're going to have to uh, keep those utilities in your name. And it can get, it can get costly, especially in the winter um, when the heat's going or um, in the summer when, you know, people crank those air, that air down. So just put it into your budget. It, it is going to be a cost for you. So gas, electricity, uh, water, sewer, anything like that. That's going to be probably your next biggest expense. The other thing you need to think about is internet um, and or cable. Um, we recommend getting the absolutely the fastest internet that you can possibly get. It is uh, the number one most requested uh, uh, feature of a short-term rental is internet, fast internet. So anytime we can get gigabit internet, we do it. Um, it is well worth it. So, you know, those can range anywhere from 50 to, I think the most that we pay is 100 bucks a month for internet. Um, so get the fastest internet that you possibly can. Um, cable, we don't recommend cable. I think most people uh, are post cable. Most people have cut the cord. Um, so if you can do it, I just don't think it's a necessary expense. What we do on all of ours is we provide really fast internet. Uh, we provide a smart TV uh, with, that they can log into their own accounts with Netflix or whatever, Hulu, whatever it is that they want to do. Um, and then we provide a, an over the air, um, over the air antenna so that they can get local stations because people do want to watch the game or watch the news, something like that. So that's been successful for us. I don't think it's a really a, a needed expense to do uh, like a cable, a true cable uh, type uh, entertainment system. Uh, after those two, the next thing you're going to um, experience in terms of costs are supplies. So this is just consumables that your guests are going to use. So uh, toilet paper, trash bags, shampoo, conditioner, um, laundry, laundry tabs or laundry soap. Uh, dishwasher tabs, things like that, that are gonna gonna just need to be replaced. It, it's actually shockingly not that much, um, but you do need to put it into your budget because it is it, it is something that's gonna happen. Now on ours, we recommend that you really go above and beyond and um, put all sorts of um, uh, small things in there. Like sometimes we even have uh, like little diapers for kids, um, just like one or two that we leave out just in case. Um, little toothpick things. Uh, we just do lots of other small little things that make a difference. We actually get lots and lots of comments on them. So we highly encourage you to do that as well. And it's it's a relatively inex inexpensive uh, thing to do for the guests and it makes the experience a whole lot better. Um, so those are the, the big ones that you're gonna experience on a regular weekly and or monthly basis. Uh, on a little bit more of an infrequent um, um, cadence, you're gonna have a few other things that you need to budget for uh, to kind of keep your Airbnb, your, your short-term rental, in uh, top shape. So one of those is going to be carpet cleaning. You got a lot of people coming and going and these things you're going to need to, you're going to need to clean your carpets at least once a year. Um, if not a little bit more regularly, uh, every now and again, you're going to probably need to clean the couch. Um, so just to kind of keep everything. So just make sure you budget that in there. The other thing is that you're going to need to do is um, a deep cleaning. So, you know, it's going to get cleaned every single, every single week or more, maybe more often than that, depending on uh, how many guests you have come in. But uh, again, this is kind of along the lines of carpet cleaning at least once a year, maybe twice a year, um, maybe three times a year, depending on how busy your Airbnb is. But you need to budget in a deep cleaning um, just to pull out the fridge, get behind that, um, you know, get under the couch, just those kind of things that, that don't happen on a everyday basis. Budget in the deep cleaning. Um, the other thing is painting. 
Um, so either full house paint or probably more than likely just touch up paint. So these homes do get used and abused um, and you wanna keep them looking nice and keep those good reviews coming in. And one of those things is painting. So I would say that's probably a once a year thing, um, unless you have uh, uh, some rowdy clientele or something like that. Um, but budget and painting uh, uh, once a year. Not, not a full house paint, but just some touch up paint. And the last thing that you should bu budget for is breakage. This is uh, infrequent, um, thankfully, but things are gonna get broken that you're not gonna be able to necessarily um, pin on somebody or charge to a specific guest. So something, if a guest breaks something and it's their fault, you can absolutely charge them, um, go after them, file a claim for a three Airbnb. You could do that, but there are going to just be some things that just break because they break and it's going to be uh, on you. So um, thankfully it's not too, too much, but it is something that you need to, you need to budget for, for breakage and then replacing things every now and again. I'm telling you your couches are going to get used and abused. And um, that's something that you should count on uh, replacing, you know, far more often than you would if it was your personal. Hopefully that's helpful for you if you're looking to set up a budget and uh, looking for the recurring uh, expenses that you're going to experience as a short-term rental.